It can be an absolute nightmare losing track of the AI art you generate in Midjourney using Discord. So today I'm going to show you a few ways you can quickly cut through the noise and get straight to your images. Now starting with my phone, I type in my prompt, I hit enter and it then basically disappears. But if I go to the top left and hit the hamburger icon to bring the side menu out, I go down to the bell icon and I can see my mentions. I tap on the mention to get taken straight to the Discord message. I can now upscale and operate from there. But on my computer, the process looks completely different. Very noisy. All I do is cut the top here to inbox and click on that. And I have my mentions. And one thing you can also do, which you can do on your phone, is go to filters and you can actually turn off the everyone mentions. So if I turn that on, you can see we get other mentions. If I turn that off, I only get people who mention me directly. And if I click to jump, I get taken straight to the message where I can upscale again. But an even better way, which allows you to actually view really old generations you've made, is to log into Mid Journey and go to archive. From there, you can actually choose the month you want. So let's say I want something from the 19th of September in 2022. I click on that. I can bring up any one of these images, such as this orc image. I scroll down to the three dots, and this is very similar on phone. You're looking for the three dots, open in and open in Discord. And you can see I'm now open in Discord straight to this image so I can do, I can make variations on it. I can also do things such as give the envelope smiley to find out the seed and work on it further. But perhaps an even better idea is to simply go to the Midjourney bot, click on the name if you're on phone, click on the image and you can add it to a server. If you don't know how to create a server, there's a little plus symbol down here you click to create a server. You can then go click add to server and select a server to add that to. And you can actually avoid the whole noise altogether. The other thing you can do is if you click on Mid Journey Bot is you can go to view profile by clicking here and you can send the bot a message. And that is exactly how I've been doing that here with these direct messages. So that's how you can escape the noise of Mid Journey when prompting. Now, a lot of people know this stuff, but there's a lot of beginners out there who still haven't figured that out. Some of these methods, especially the ones at the end, may require a paid plan. But uh, otherwise, I hope you found that useful. I hope that you uh, it helps you make your generations a bit easier without all the noise and all the stuff that's going on. So if you like the video, please consider giving it a like. And if you want more information on Mid Journey, you've got a ton of videos on my channel. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.